Hey, Psych2Goers, hope you're having a good day. Have you ever been called an old soul? Do people tell you that you're wise beyond your years? You may be wondering if they're right. I mean, what is an old soul? Well, an old soul is mature, wise, and understanding. An old soul can often come across as serious at times because of their maturity and their thoughtful outlook on life. So how do you know if you're an old soul? Well, here at Psych2Go, we've made a little quiz for you to take to find out. Keep track of your answers and find out if you're an old soul at the end of this video. Number one, how often do you like to shop? A, hardly. B, a fair amount. Or C, as much as I can. Number two, what do you relate to most? A, I don't have many friends, but I'm really close with the ones I do have. B, I have a few friends, but I don't know them that well. Or C, I have a lot of acquaintances and many friends, but I don't know them well. Number three, how good are you at helping others or providing advice? A, I give great advice and love to help others when I can. B, I try my best to give advice, but I like comforting more instead. Or C, I'm terrible at advice, but try to be there for my friends. Number four, how often do you read or learn new things? A, I love to read and have a thirst for knowledge. B, I read when I can, but much prefer getting out and seeing friends. Or C, I don't read much. I love to go out and be around people. Number five, how do you respond to others in a serious discussion? A, I like to observe, listen, think, then react. B, I listen while thinking of how I can convince them that I'm right about the topic. Or C, I listen and respond quickly with my opinion. And finally, number six, do you feel like an outsider? A, yes, all the time. B, sometimes, but not really. Or C, no. So what do your answers mean? Mostly C's. Did you mostly answer C? Well, you're most likely not an old soul. You're pretty opposite from them, actually. You're more into material things, unlike old souls. And you love going out rather than staying in with a good book, unlike most old souls. You're very extroverted and love hanging around people your age. You're not often hanging out with people much older than you. Mostly bees. You're not quite an old soul, but you can be pretty wise at times. You're not focused on material things, but you do love to go shopping every now and then. <laughs> Who doesn't? You also don't mind hanging out with people of all ages. Mostly A's. You are an old soul. You value deep connections. So instead of many acquaintances, you likely have a few close friends that you have deep connection with. You're not very interested in material things. You prefer the intangible things in life. You love learning new things, expanding your knowledge and improving the relationships you have in your life. You make most of your choices with your intentions at the forefront of your mind. When you sit down to create a project or do work on a task you care about, you're keeping the end goal in mind. As an old soul, when you respond to others, you think before you react. This is also because you're a very observant person. Because most of your choices have strong intentions behind them, you also don't like to waste time. And you often spend time alone too, to reflect and think. You don't mind time alone. And like an introvert, you often need this time to recharge from time around people. This is likely due to the idea that you're also very empathetic, open-minded, and can often feel emotionally drained because of this. You enjoy spending some time alone to recharge, reflect, contemplate, and daydream. A few of the common signs of an old soul. So have you been told that you're wise? Do your loved ones come to you before others for advice? Yep, you're pretty good when it comes to giving advice and you've been called wise many times before. Because of your maturity, you may have a hard time fitting in with others in your age group, especially if you are very young. You get along with older individuals much better because you can have a deeper conversation with them and you love those. Small talk isn't really your thing. You also likely felt like an outsider at one point in your life, but don't worry because there are other old souls out there and you'll likely get along just fine with them because of how much you can relate to each other and because you'll probably have some pretty deep conversations as well. Who doesn't love a good theorizing session? So are you an old soul? Let us know your results in the comment section down below. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with someone. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.